In this video, we're gonna talk about why conversation is so important in digital marketing now. And we're gonna talk about lead gen and how it's changing. And if you are trying to sell any kind of high ticket items or you're trying to sell um, services or consulting or just in general, something that's a little bit more on the complicated side, we're gonna talk about why conversation is the new lead gen. It's gonna be very, very helpful. By the end of this video, hopefully you'll have a strategy on how to grow your brand or your business and really help you to automate some of the parts of your business as well. So let's get into today's video. This is Brandon Brashears and I make daily marketing videos here. So if you're looking to grow your brand or your business with digital marketing, this is a great place for you to learn. Please consider subscribing, hit that thumbs up button and comment. If you have any questions, I'll answer the questions directly. So conversation is ever more important. Now, what is a conversation? You've probably experienced this with lots of brands or business. Basically, you're trying to get more information from a brand or a business. And typically it can be things like, what's the pricing, what's included, what's your hours? Questions that typically are answered, you know, on, on your website by doing a little bit more digging. But a lot of times your, your customers and your clients, they won't take the time to go and find out that information. So they'll just want to get that info. So how do you do that? Now there's a few ways that you can do it. You can do it with chatbots, and I made a video about what are chatbots and how to use them. If you click that card up in the corner, you can go check those out. But basically, people are expecting different systems to be in place when they interact with brands and businesses. And it makes a lot of sense, right? If you think about when you're trying to engage with somebody, like if you need help on a website, you would like a support window to pop up. You don't necessarily wanna call people. And as time goes on, more and more people don't like calling. So it's important that you have chat systems set up. I love ManyChat because it's very affordable. It's simple to use, easy to set up. It's fantastic as far as a chat program goes. But you have to think consumers in general and trends that are going on with online marketing, if, if Amazon is doing something and people begin to get accustomed to a feature or a way of communicating, they're going to expect even small businesses to do that. You know, um, There are so many times where I'm talking to especially local business owners and they say, you know what, I really don't want my clients or customers to be messaging me on Facebook. Can we just turn that off? And I can't believe that they say that. It kills me because that is a medium that people expect to be able to communicate on. So if you're not able to respond to those messages or if you don't want to respond to those messages, you're throwing away money and it's super unfortunate. I can understand that if you don't have the bandwidth to respond to different people and to different things, then that makes sense. But if you're in a position where you say, I'm too busy to respond to customers who are asking me buying questions, you need to hire more people. You're losing money. So I really like Facebook um, Messenger as a, as a method of communicating with your clients and customers. And so with ManyChat and other chat programs, you can use the automation that's set up to get things to a point where people segment themselves and they get to a point where they are ready to buy. So then when you are using you know, your, your super valuable time, you're actually going to be closing these people. They'll be pre, pre-sold, pre-ready to go, pre-segmented, and then you're only spending time with people who are actually interested. So a few things. First, chat isn't the only way to communicate in conversation. You need to have on your website, on your social properties, you need to have ways for people to do text message marketing. You need ways for people to do chatbot marketing. You need ways to do email marketing and then phone number marketing as well, traditional phone number marketing. There is in Google ads now, there's uh, texting where people can text ad extensions, which is super cool. But texting and messaging and you know forms of communication that are less direct than direct phone calls are getting more and more important. And so if you don't have these different channels set up, you're gonna be losing so much money, so much opportunity. So try to get people to the point where they're ready to make a buying decision. Try to use technology like ManyChat and Twilio and all of these other tools for marketing and automation to get people ready to the next level. If you have any questions or need help with any of this, please comment below. I'm happy to help. I would love to know though, what do you think in your business? What is your business? And are you seeing more customers that are asking for, you know, text message marketing, text message follow-up, you know, especially if you're doing um, response at scale, 
you know, having these different technologies that allow you to go and communicate with your customers and clients, I think are just becoming more and more important. Would love to know what you think though. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button and comment below if you have any questions, comments, or need help with anything. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.